you know what's crazy if I'm making a video for this. I, I'm like kind of nuts off of this. I just learned that um, Salt and Pepper fired Spinderella, their longtime DJ, who is basically a part of the group. You know what I'm saying? She's like, I mean, Salt and Pepper and Spinderella is like Run DMC. That's like the all three members of Houdini. That's like EPMD. That's like, you know, you, you can't replace, yeah. Salt and Pepper, the rappers, but Spinderella raps too. She, you know, does some production for him, you know. And I recall this ain't the first time they've they've done Spinderella like that. They've actually, as far as money, like I remember when behind the music, they kind of screwed was screwing Spinderella. And even in their reality show, I, if I remember correctly, Spin didn't even really want to come back. You know, Spin was like, you know, I'll support you guys, but I'm on some other shit right now. They begged her to come back. She came back. They were doing all these tours. And it's not like you ladies are young. Y'all 50. Y'all too old to be firing and hiring new talent and shit. It don't, it, none of it makes sense. And then the way they did it, they emailed her. It wasn't like we're going to sit down with our sister and we're going to say, hey, you know, hey, we need to go our separate ways. You know, we, me, and, me and Peppa want to do something different. You know what I'm saying? We want to let you go. It wasn't nothing amicable. It was pretty much an email and Spinderella was fired. Now, according to Spinderella's Instagram account, they have been basically marketing like Spinderella is still a part of the group. So, like, they're trying to book events and they're trying to basically some shady shit. So, like, people are asking, okay, so is Spin coming? Oh, no, she's not coming. And basically being shady. But Spin, you know, she posted the, um, she posted the message on her Instagram. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let y'all read it, and I'll come back to y'all let y'all and get, you know, with my commentary on it. Oh, shit. We icy ass niggas from our future doing some crazy shit. By the way, we do punch bitches. <laughs> So basically, yeah, this is some bullshit. Ah, uh, ladies, y'all too old to be for doing this. I remember Salt didn't want to do it no more because Salt was um, well, she's a Christian now. She's saved and sanctified. I guess that that demon money then turned your ass into evil because we knew Pepper was thrown off. We know we knew Pepper's thrown off, and she's a little. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just on Growing Up Hip Hop, the episodes I have seen, which, by the way, I'm not watching no more because I got fucking Dre and Kelly on that shit. And for somebody who's such a victim, she show is going out for the bag. But anyway, and R. Kelly's not hip hop. I don't know why she would be on that. But um, so I'm real disappointed in you ladies. I'm so disappointed y'all i can't i grew up on salt and pepper it's always been salt and pepper and spinderella it's never been salt and pepper without spinderella it's always been salt and pepper and spinderella and for y'all to fire her and the industry is in arms you know you see dj jazzy jeff um you see um kick capri it's so many people on that post like what the fuck man and no, and Salt and Pepper ain't even acknowledging it. They're like, you know, kind of like, eh, it happens, you know. And I'm like, that's your sister. This is supposed to be somebody that y'all ride or die with. If anything, she should be getting equal share of the group. She should be getting equal pay. Even if she is fired, it should be some type of founder's fee or something, but apparently not. But the good news is Spinderella is world-renowned. This isn't like Spinderella's, um career is over and that's it this is she's one of the dopest djs in the, the world not just female dj she's one of the dopest djs in the world she opens she does shows she does events so it's not like you know her career is just done she's her daughter's dope you know what i'm saying so it's like what are you what are y'all ladies here for i'm like i didn't heard what a man a million times i didn't heard shoot I didn't hear push it a million times. You know what I'm saying? I don't plan on going to no headline and salt and pepper tour. You know what I'm saying? I don't I had no plan I had no plans of it. If I'm going to a salt and pepper show, it's gonna be a part of like a, a mega nineties old school type shit. It ain't gonna be no motherfucking 
I'm going to salt. I'm going to salt and pepper. You know they they headlining the tour and nah ain't not, none of that. It better be salt and pepper, naughty by nature, vanilla ice, um, tone loke, um, and some other MC Hammer and some other motherfuckers. Ain't nobody going to no salt and pepper without Spinderella show. Who who the hell about to pay fifty dollars to sit here? <sighs> but shit, nobody want to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are hella whack for that shit. You know what I'm saying? And homie, speaking from one DJ to another spin, I know you're going to be all right. That's what y'all rappers don't get. You know what I'm saying? I'm a rapper, I DJ, but I know one thing, the DJ, that's the motherfucker that made your ass what it is from the motherfucking giddy up. <laughs> that's, hey, that's a house party too quote. But real shit, I think y'all fucked up with this one. Y'all fucked up. Y'all, y'all was doing some good tours. Y'all was making some good money, and they probably was like, "Well, why we even y'all spend?" She just sitting up back there behind the behind the record player and doing it. Nigga, y'all show is about to be boring as fuck. Ain't nobody gonna want to see that shit. Nobody gonna push ah, it. Nigga, why would hear that shit? What the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? Oh my god, y'all garbage for this, man. Oh, trash, straight trash, man. I, I am not looking for it. I am not going to no salt and pepper shows. Unless I know Spinderella's and Spins there, I'll go. And that's real shit. And that ain't, that's just being honest, you know. Cause who fired, what old school rap artist fires it? You, could you imagine if Houdini fired their DJ? Could you imagine if Guy Rest is Dead, Jam Master J was still alive, run, fired, um, DJ Jam, Jam Master J? Could you imagine Trench firing KG? Could you imagine that? You know what I'm saying? Could you imagine um, Red Man doing a tour without the tw- DJ Twins? Oh, man, this is... Wow, this is too much. This is too much. Too fast. And I don't know if y'all, I don't know if these ladies just found somebody that was cheaper or uh, whatever. I mean, they would have been better saying, you know what, salt and pepper, we're just going to disband the group. And, you know, we might do a few shows together, but we're done. But I know what it is. Basically, salt probably was like, oh, man, you know, we ain't about to, we ain't make, you know, I want to make more money. Why are we paying spend all this money? Let's just fire her. They didn't even sit her down and talk to her. They just fired her. Like, fuck you. Wow. That's black people for you. Tell me what you think. Like, like, subscribe, comment. I need to know what y'all think of this. If the story develops, if some fuck shit happen, I'll I'll keep up on this one. But yeah, man. Um, spin, keep your head up, baby girl. Um, definitely still day one fan over here. Um, you know, keep rocking your shows, man. Cause it's obvious that even without reality shows, spin is killing them probably in the pockets right now because spin is doing shows every week she's rocking it so anyway y'all have a great day peace yes part two we are back we're doing it again part two big sam